Good morning, Octo Nation. AMCI Acquisition Corp. file enters into non-binding letter of intent to acquire Next Generation Fuel Cell Technology Company. On July 31st, AMCI entered into a non-binding letter of intent with a non innovation driven high growth fuel cell technology company the target for initial business combination July th July 31st 2020 what is this <laughs> the, I know that these guys actually entered into an uh, LOI with like a copper company but is this is this a misprint here I don't know the targets developed fuel cell technology that the company believes will be a key in unlocking the hydrogen economy company will seek to advance the development and manufacturing and targets critical components for a diversified range of high growth new energy markets including transportation off-grid aviation and hydrogen economy to respond to the significant and immediate market opportunities and cool you know the, the, the fuel cell hydrogen fuel cell stuff does uh, it does okay right it, it just doesn't do totally well it looks like they're you know they're, they're looking for transportation that could be vehicles but off-grid you know that could be clean sparky stuff aviation you know that's planes that's cool I haven't even heard of that one before have you the target is led by an experienced management team that expects to deliver innovative technologies through partnerships with international recognized research centers the company's management team believes the target is an attractive investment opportunity given the targets next generation fuel cell technology with the company believes will be an essential component needing to unlock the hydrogen economy and increase investor demand for acceleration of decarbonization. Yeah, so they're saying decarbonization. So I don't know if they're just throwing that word in there, but <laughs> I mean, usually that's going to go for, you know, like the cars or, or tractors or whatever. So is this something you can just plug in, plug on the side like we've looked at before, or, or what's the play? This unfortunately is a potential LOI or, you know, it's a non-binding letter of intent. So there has been a letter of intent signed, but it's non-binding, so it doesn't bind them to anything. But the bad part about this is it doesn't doesn't give us uh, the exact target. <laughs> Who is it? William Hunter, the company CEO, said the target is highly innovative player in the rapidly expanding next-generation fuel technology space. We expect that this acquisition will allow us to drive significant value creation by participating in such an exciting and high demand sector. The completion of the transaction is subject to, among others, completion of the due diligence, negotiation to the definitive agreement, providing for the transaction, satisfaction of the conditions negotiated therein, and approval by the transaction of the company's stockholders. According, accordingly, there has been no assurance that the definitive agreement will be entered into or that the proposed transaction will be consummated. So that's saying, you know, it's not a hundred percent. So these guys have another extension vote in October, you know, so this is to help that extension vote for sure. But you know, it's to drive everything up and to let them know they're doing something. They do have a letter of intent. It's just not binding. Will they finally pull it off? We hope so. We hope they do, but hey, I'm gonna hurry up and get this out for y'all. Um, the the comments they did spike actually above 11, and it was totally you know computer generated buying, literally like a rocket instantly flap all the way up, and then guess what happened? It flapped all the way down. Uh, this is currently trading at like ten dollars and sixty cents though, you know for the common. So you're you're still pretty close to the floor, you know. So risk to reward is, is decent on this the the warrants these are already going for a buck as you can see we've been in and sold these a couple times in the past here uh, but right now they are like right on a buck so I don't know it's kind of sketchy you know you don't want to buy these and then it goes back down to 50 again because this has happened before with them right this has happened before so manage your risk on this commons are obviously a safer play we'll get this out